Ignoring your audience is the biggest mistake you can make as a YouTuber. That said, I've dedicated the last four weeks to developing a community within my niche on YouTube and the results have been surprising. So today I'm going to share with you a simple way to engage with and grow your YouTube community, how this easy step can work for any niche, and if you stay until the end, I'm going to tell you a little secret I found that have helped me find and connect with my most loyal YouTube followers. I'll also share with you my analytics for the last week. But first, what are the most common mistakes YouTubers make when engaging with their community? One day a while back, while I was reading through the comments on this recently uploaded video, I came across a comment that respectfully challenged a point that I was trying to make. Although the commenter was respectful, the tone was rather firm and direct and took issue with the way that I choose to live my life. She did say that she would continue watching my videos despite our obvious moral differences. This is when I realized something very, very important. It is all too common for people to become reactive. In doing so, our best selves become shielded and the fangs come out. One mistake many creators make is to respond to the negativity rather than responding to the person. In doing so, they've created a negative vibe, which then weakens any community they were originally trying to build. So what did I do? Initially, I replied with a heart and a thumbs up so that I can take some time to think through what I really wanted to say. I waited a day until I knew that I could respond in a kind and welcoming manner. I thanked her for her perspective and for sharing with me in a kind and warm, respectful manner. Not only did this build trust between me and the viewer, but it also built trust between me and the other viewers who may be reading the comments. Now I've created a community of safety where my viewers and my commenters know that I'm not going to react to them negatively and that that's not how we behave in the space of this channel. So the moral to this story is keep your responses to your commenters kind, regardless of the type of comments that you may receive from them. Now that you know what not to do, how can you effectively engage with your YouTube community? Earlier this month, I was considering some options for video topics to make my next video about, and I was getting really overwhelmed with all of the options that were available. I was struggling to figure out what my audience was interested in learning. Now, I know how to do research to find the trending topics in my niche, but I wasn't particularly inspired by any of the options that I was finding. What happened was that I ended up spending a ridiculous amount of time watching videos of other channels to try to find some inspiration for my next video. But I was getting nowhere fast. Then, I found a tool that I had been ignoring since I started my channel four months ago. I saw this poll from vidIQ that was asking their viewers how much they spend on their YouTube channel each month. There were thousands and thousands of responses. The poll answers provided valuable information to vidIQ about the needs of their audience. That's when I understood how I could increase my engagement by using the community tab and effectively engage with my YouTube audience. Posting a few polls each week has a couple of valuable benefits. First of all, you can quickly get to know your audience without having to answer comments if you happen to be pressed for time. But more importantly, the community tab can help you in choosing video topics by directly asking your audience what they're interested in watching. I posted this poll to find out what my audience was most interested in watching. And although I've seen that grocery hauls and day in my life vlogs are generally trending topics these days, a resounding 80% of the viewers who answered the poll were interested in a series on life as an introvert. I would have never guessed this. But I'm so glad that I took the time to ask because now I have valuable information about what my audience is truly interested in watching. This can work with an endless variety of niches, from lifestyle niches to education niches, gaming niches, gardening niches, you name it. 
just ask your audience in a poll what they want to learn about. Now that you know what works to engage your viewers, did you know that there are some surprising benefits that come from actively engaging with your YouTube community? But before I explain, remember to stay till the end so you can learn my secret to finding my most loyal followers. You don't want to miss this. For as long as I can remember, I've always enjoyed writing notes to my friends. Way back in middle school, before there were cell phones and texting, we would write notes during the day and plop them in each other's lockers or pass them on the bus to and from school. It was the only way we had to kind of check in with each other during the day and to go over any problems or concerns or gossip that was going on. Sometimes we had to wait hours or even days for a reply. But in having this correspondence back and forth for so many years, I developed lifelong friendships. Engaging with my viewers in the comment section has the same vibe. After someone leaves a comment letting me know that they've resonated with something that I've had to say in a video, I always respond with a, a comment or a question to engage us further in that conversation, which is what you would do in building any relationship that you might develop in person. As a heart-centered human, I understand how good it feels when someone expresses interest in you and wants to know more about you. I want to reciprocate this for my viewers. It's kind of like modern day pen pals. I'm finding joy in slowly developing friendships with my viewers who live close by and some who live super far away. I have a couple of viewers who actually live in my same county. And then there's another viewer who lives all the way in Portugal. So now that you're replying kindly to the comments that left from your viewers in the comment section and you are using the community tab to engage with your viewers on the next level, you surely want to know the secret to finding these loyal followers, don't you? It all actually happened unintentionally. After commenting on a video from Silver and Solo's channel, about a day later I received notification that I had a comment on one of my videos. And it happened to be a person who read my comment on Jen's channel and reached out to me to let me know that we had a lot in common. So after some messaging back and forth, we actually realized that we lived in the same county. Since we were both small YouTube creators, we decided to support one another's channels. This happened again from another comment that I left on another one of Jen's videos for Silver and Solo. And that person reached out to me on one of my channel videos and left me a comment that she read my comment over there and now had come and found me. And so what I realized was that by commenting on other people's videos within my niche on topics that I'm interested in, I was kind of creating a virtual neighborhood community center of sorts. Not only have I gained dozens of new subscribers this way, but I've also started building a community of kind, like-minded people. It feels to me to be the most genuine and simplest way to grow a loyal following, just by reaching out and being yourself with others who are reaching out and being themselves. All of these steps that I just shared with you have helped me make significant growth in my monetization challenge for week four. Here are my analytics for the week. I have grown from 128 to 227 subscribers. That's a 66% increase from week three. I have gained 57.2 watch time hours, which is a 36% increase from week three. I had approximately 148 likes, 10 shares, and 71 comments. Yay for engagement! I've made some lovely connections and received genuine encouragement. And lastly, episode three ranked a one out of 10 in its first 48 hours. Woohoo! So with these three tips and one secret, you too have the knowledge to successfully engage with your audience, grow your YouTube subscribers, and reap the benefits. But even with all these tips, where do you get the motivation to become a content creator in the first place? Check out this video next to learn what inspired me to start my monetization challenge and grow my subscribers into the hundreds within just a couple of weeks.